Oh, 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 see that? A little bit more light. Why, you may ask? The lamp that was back there, I decided to repurpose it and put it over there with it flicked on. And so now I'm able to shed a little bit more light on the occasion. So I'm sure a lot of us have pets and a lot of us like to collect things. But have those two things ever intertwined? Unless you own a zoo? I don't think so. But today we are watching a girl who is obsessed with cockroaches. Yes, you heard that right, cockroaches. So what I'm picturing here is one night she went outside, found herself a little friend, plopped that bad boy into a little fish bowl. Now she has a pet cockroach. Is it weird? I would say yes. Am I gonna try and understand it? I'll do my best. What's for dinner? It's chicken, your favorite. I know it's quite easy to confuse the two, cockroaches and Barbies, but I'm pretty sure those are Barbies. Unless it's cockroaches in disguise. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Go to bed, honey. Can you read me a bedtime story? Um, pretty normal so far. Just a girl playing with Barbies? Not quite sure I would classify this as a weird obsession. I don't wanna go to bed. Oh shit! One escaped! Burn the bed! Burn the bed! Legs up. Holy shit! Motherfucker's got wheels! How'd you get from the bed to the top of the dresser in like a second? You got some superhuman cockroaches up in there? It's okay, I got it! I just fucking broke my tripod. Okay. Good night, Shelby. What is this, a horror movie? What's up with this music here? Girls just talking about how Barbie likes chicken. It's chicken, your favorite. Not that scary. I mean, a little scary, but not that scary. <laughs> evacuate! Evacuate! Uh-uh, you got me fucked up. Fuck you mean cockroaches in the bed. Wh wh why? Why? At this point, you gotta burn the whole house down. Hi, my name is Shelby Counterman. Move, bitch. I am not as old and I collect cockroaches. <laughs> When I started collecting roaches, I only had five, but now I have thousands. But why though? What's the point? It's not like you have a friendship with them all. I think four or five would have done the trick there. Everybody get the fuck out of Tulsa! Um, uh, I could do without them. <laughs> he is not having any of it. Yeah, I don't really know where I went wrong but if you guys could take these out of my house, that would be fantastic. But she really likes them, so. Oh man, do I ever have an idea for you? Have you ever heard of hex bugs? Yeah, those little robots that are designed to mimic bugs. I mean, it's almost like they were made for this exact reason. I absolutely don't love the cockroaches. So neither parent is a fan? Pretty sure you pay the bills. Tell her to get them the fuck out. Or at the very least, just keep them outside. I don't think they need to take up your entire living room. I do have freak out moments every once in a while. Yeah, I don't blame you. Did you see that bed at the beginning? Just imagine you get home from a long day, go and sit down on the bed. Next thing you know, there's a thousand cockroaches on you. Ah, uh, no thank you. <sighs> home sweet home. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh my god, get those! Get them all! Oh, so disgusting. My favorite thing about roaches is that they are unique and special. My favorite thing about cockroaches is that someday in the near future that they will all go away. <laughs> oh my god, Maury's just venting at this point. It's been seven years! I've fucking had it! I've had it with these cockroaches! I want to teach people about my roaches because they're not monsters and they can be really cute and funny. I don't know if you know this or not, but cockroaches are known to be quite humorous. And what's the deal with lampshades? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it's a lamp, why do you want shade? <laughs> These are my Madagascar. Did they just hiss? My Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Why? Why do you have those? If you wanted something that hisses, get yourself a cat. Sometimes they're too noisy, I will hiss at them. <laughs> I like it. She might have a weird hobby, but she's no fool. She lets them know who's boss. Oh, bitch, better stop hissing at me. Cause she's gotta be careful. What if they ganged up on her? A thousand to three? The odds aren't in your favor. And also, Mori would be long gone. He's not trying to stick around. The roaches, they do not bite. They're not harmful at all, except they may be a little stinky. Oh, really? Your house is stinky? I would have never guessed having an army of cockroaches would have made your house stinky. I would have thought it smelled like Bath and Body Works. Cause they eat the flesh off bones. Um, what? With over a thousand roaches. Over a thousand? Come on, you gotta draw the line somewhere. Sometimes 
the whole counterman family must jump in and help. This is just not the right voice for this. With over a thousand blood-sucking, curdling, disgusting-ass beetles around, the whole family has to help out sometimes. The thing I like the least about the cockroaches is when we have to clean the tanks out. The girl's got a system. You can't knock her hustle. She gets to play with her roaches, and she doesn't even have to clean the tank. I mean, what more can you want? Hey, you missed a spot! Who's a good cockroach? You are. Yes, you are. There's a million other things I'd rather be doing right now than sorting out roaches and getting all this mess taken care of. Oh, Maury is pissed. He just wanted a relaxing day with the dog, but no, what does he get? He gets to spend his day stroking roaches. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, is she fucking serious? We're gonna be here all day. We're four minutes into the video. And the next 12 are probably just gonna be her counting. I mean, at this point, might as well start giving them names. There's Bob, that's Jerry. Steven, I haven't seen you in forever. How's it been? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Well, it's been a good video. You thought it was over. Psych! Shelby doesn't know life without cockroaches. She's had them for so long. Um, can somebody go check up on this family? Maury's, uh, Maury's looking a little hostile. When Meg tells me that Shelby needs cockroaches, I'm like, Who's the growing up here? Why does Shelby need cockroaches? You're the growing up. You should have just told her no. Go off, Murray. Let your voice be heard. A good friend of mine told me that he would give us male cockroaches. Yeah, so I got voted out. Two to one. Um, are we sure this friend's still alive? Because it seems like Bory don't play no shit. When Shelby was five, we were on another field trip, and Shelby spoke with the folks there and told them that she had a big problem. I told them that I didn't have any girls, and I got real jealous because they had babies. We left on that field trip with female cockroaches. And that was the worst decision of my life. I keep my favorites at the end of the bed. So she keeps her favorites in her bed. So you're telling me that all those cockroaches in the beginning, those were just her favorites? Shelby got a terrible cold one time and we were trying to isolate what what was causing her um, coughing all night long. Huh, did you maybe think it was the thousands of disgusting bugs she sleeps with every night? Cause that would have been my first guess. This is my gravestone for my favorite roach. Her name was Blackie and I named her Blackie because she was completely black. You know what, at least they keep it original in the house. Motherfucking Blackie was black. She died about a year ago. I swear, if they say they had a funeral for a cockroach, I'm gonna lose it. I am. And on the bottom, I wrote, she was nice. <laughs> Does anybody have any words they'd like to share about the recently departed? She was very nice. <laughs> she really was. Well, in my opinion, it's perfectly fine to have cockroaches. At first... Huh, maybe my eyes are deceiving me, but it looked like you were about to chuck that cockroach across the room. At first, get the fuck off me! I think having a cockroach for a pet is pretty weird. Emily, hot take, jeesh! Welcome to the cockroach fashion show. I think the fashion show went pretty good. <laughs> Besides all the cockroaches starting to run away. <clears throat> Tell me about it. I loved having a fashion show with those shoes. <laughs> Even if it was creepy. Oh, she did not like that. What'd you say? Shelby loves the Children's Museum, and so it was a huge, exciting moment when they wanted her to come speak about the cockroaches. So you're telling me that one day she just went to the Children's Museum and they hired her to be a public speaker for cockroaches? I mean, started from the bottom, now we're here. Am I right? What we put together is we have a Ferris wheel, a cannon, and a type rope. <laughs> Did you see that roach just eat shit? A type rope. But also, uh, a cockroach cannon? Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pass on that one. I would prefer cockroaches to not be a projectile shot towards me. The cannon, we use stickers to decorate it. And gunpowder to shoot it. We're gonna have a little air-powered rocket launcher to launch our projectile, which today happens to be one of her beloved roaches. <laughs> oh, this man is evil. Hasn't smiled once all video, but once they start talking about firing one of her precious roaches out of a cannon, oh, he's smiling ear to ear. We're gonna do a roach circus in a few minutes. You're doing a what? A circus. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, something just came up. I'm really sorry, I gotta go. Timmy, let's get the fuck out of here. Her family comes to the museum very often. 
So when we heard about Shelby and her cockroaches, we thought it was a great idea for her to come here and share with everybody what she does, her special talent. What do you mean a talent? What's the talent? There's no talent here. She just owns a lot of bugs. These are cockroaches. They are my pets. Do they hurt you? No. No, dumbass. They're cockroaches. Have you never seen Monsters vs. Aliens? Which ones are the histers? That's a Madagascar. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, she is so disgusted. Okay. Oh, okay. Why don't you say we put it back in the box? Hmm? Shelby came to my classroom when she was about three years old, and the thing that most interested her were the roaches. You don't say! I would have thought it was the butterflies. Shelby's interest in the roaches has continued to grow, and her mother continually reminds me that I'm the one that started her creativity in these insects. And I have not seen her dead anywhere yet, so if you could keep an eye out, that'd be great. And next we have our type rope walkers. I'm doing a Madagascar because its feet can get a better grip. Don't clap, do not clap, you didn't even make it. We are now gonna use a cannon to launch a roach through the hoop of fire and onto our target. Let's do a countdown from five, four, Fucking damn it, this was my one opportunity and I blew it. A lot of people do a lot of different things with insects. But most people just step on them. Anyone want to touch him? No, we're good. We can see him just fine from here. I thought Shelby's circus was very inspiring to other kids to start collections of stuff and not to be afraid because I think she was very brave to collect those because most kids wouldn't do that. Do you think you're going to start collecting them? Wait, am I going to start collecting them? Oh, absolutely not. I'm not a weirdo. That was the first time that I got to touch a cockroach and it was fine. Paid actor, 100%. They definitely slipped her a few Laffy Taffies before that interview. It's probably a life learning lesson for her. People think a bug's a bug, but it's more than that to her. I mean, bugs can teach us things. Bugs are important in the world. They have their place in the world. But that place is not in my fucking house! So can we please get rid of them? Shelby's talked a lot about being an entomologist when she grows up. I, I think I could definitely see that career path for her. Could you really now? You were thinking an anthromolo- What was it? Anthro- What was it? Entomologist? I don't know. Kind of getting exterminator vibes. Cockroaches Calling on my landline I don't wanna answer I don't wanna tell them Don't worry, I got it! Oh shit! Cockroaches 